Hello everyone, I am Phoenix Tremaine and this is my commentary for Divorce Court Season 20, Episode 12, Tubbs vs. Jackson. Um, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I got all sorts of different types of content coming at you. And I um, hope you come along for the ride. Now, um, and if you haven't seen this episode yet, I will put the link to Divorce Court's official YouTube page so that you can watch this episode and hopefully come back and comment and let me know what you thought. Now, um, whew, this episode was uh, a hot mess, but my notes were like, you know, I, I, got, I barely have any notes because the whole episode really focused around her insecurity um, that he would cheat on her. And so she would hunt him down, track him down with GPS. Um, she's constantly calling. If he says he's not going to be where he's going to be, then, you know, now she's calling his friends, his family, you know, all in a panic, trying to find out where he is, um, trying to see if he's up in some pussy. But, you know, he probably is. He's 26, and he's a, they're both nightclub promoters. And when you're a nightclub promoter, you know, a lot of times they're very flirtatious. They're usually very smiley, friendly, because they want to get you in a club, you know. Um, and guys are not, night, nightclub promoters that are men are notorious for screwing you know people who come to the club because they want a discount they want to get in for free they want vip and so if they're like you know doing something with you then they get all those perks and you know don't have to wait at the door with everybody in line and just walk on up ahead you know all because you know you know the nightclub promoter and sometimes you know them very well and um you know, this is a before your vows, you know, and there's no way in hell these two people should be getting um, married. Um, Judge Lynn never even addressed it. Um, but the, the whole thing is they are, well, she's 28, he's 26. And if you have to track someone down, if you have to be Mr. or Mrs. Detective, if your rate, your blood pressure is going up, because you don't know where he at or you don't know where she at you probably need to be with a different person somebody who's not going to be running around all around the town on you or if you really want them then you're just going to have to accept that you're hopefully his number one and then you know the other girls that come along are like number two number three number four you know like you like you know he's a pimp and you a hoe you know women do it all the time they will meet a guy and usually he has money and they'll be perfectly happy with being number one and especially if they get the ring and then you know everybody else that come along you know you got the ring and the benefits that come with the ring you know if he dies or get in trouble the insurance policy is in your name so and the money that's coming in is coming into your house so some women are very practical that way. You know, they don't care if he's cheating because she's going to do her own thing too. I know this because women have told me this before. You know, as long as he's taking care of home and not tracking down what she's doing, you know, she don't care how many, you know, women he's growing. As long as he don't bring nothing home and don't bring no babies home. So, um, so if you are with a man that has a history of cheating and you still want to be with him you have to start rethinking the kind of relationship you want because obviously he ain't gonna stop and with this guy here it's only a matter of time before he ends up with a baby so it's best for them to go their separate ways so that she can have peace of mind and he can actually go and screw whoever he wants to go screw however this is the problem and this is why i think he's still in a relationship they have a business together so this is why you know you don't shit where you eat and this is why you don't mix business with pleasure because now that you know he may even be ready to leave 
because he seems frustrated that, you know, she won't let him do what he want to do. And when he off sneaking off being in some woman's house with his phone, they put their phones on the counter. We know what that means. We're not stupid. The judge isn't stupid. We know he was cheating, you know, but how, how long do you let it allow it to happen before you address whether or not it's okay or it's not okay? That's why I say in relationships, you got to have deal breakers. So if cheating's a deal breaker, he's not the guy for you. If cheating isn't a deal breaker, then calm down and just create an understanding what you will allow, what you won't allow. Hell, if you're into threesomes or something like that, you know, might make your life even easier. But not, everybody's not, not, don't have that much freak in them, you know. But if you do, go for it. But that's my advice in my commentary on this because when you are with a man or a woman that's cheating, you know they're cheating and they didn't just cheat once because you're on a break or, or you know, something happened, you know, this huge argument, you know, and, and you broke up but you didn't break up and that's when he or she took that opportunity to get it in with an ex or somebody they always wanted to be with. But somebody has a history of cheating so much so that you have to constantly keep track of where they are just in case they might. Yeah, you, you that, that's a that's a deal breaker for you. And um, even though at the end it had the shiny happy ending where, you know, he said she's not following me around as much. Um, and she's like, you know, she's letting him do, you know, what he wants to do, whatever, whatever it said at the end. Um, yeah, this is still a disaster waiting to happen. Let me know what you think in the comments and what you think about cheating. Because I was shocked that I've talked to a lot of people on the subject of cheating. And it really shocked me how for a lot of women and a lot of men, cheating isn't a deal breaker. Um, and you know this because there are so many women out there who will fight the other woman, you know, go, you know, do horrible things to the other woman, you know, slander on social media, try to fight her, but she's still with him. And then she get rid, rid of that girl, and then here comes the next one. You know, so some women, cheating's not a deal breaker. Sometimes they'll even find the girl for you. Sometimes they forgive you, and they forgive you, and they forgive you, and they forgive you, and they forgive you. Um, but he never stops. He just has reprieves where he kind of chills out till you calm down and then he go back to creeping. So you just got to decide what kind of life you want. That's my commentary. I am out. I will see you every Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern time. I will drop a new video and now I'm about to go watch another divorce court so I can, um, have my next video ready for you. Have a good one, and I appreciate you for watching.